you're not trying too hard. What is going on, everybody? It is Snods here. Today, we are going to go over 10 things that we know about MLB The Show 22. This last week or so has been very, very exciting. And we're going to touch on some things that we know are coming. Now, first things first is the trailer. We got two brand new legend reveals in the trailer. And the one on the right is Ryan Howard and the one on the left is Randy Johnson. Now, there's been some controversy with this. As of late, the new trailer that MLB The Show 22 has published out does not have that Randy Johnson reveal at the end. So this kind of makes me a little nervous because I feel like there's something going on. Maybe they didn't have his full rights and they kind of dropped the ball a little bit there. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope that's not the case. Uh, my theory is if you watch the very end of his reveal and you look at his face his face scan looks nothing like him this is just wishful thinking um i'm hoping you know they didn't want us to see that face and hopefully sometime this week they will reveal his full figure also this morning mlb the show's 22's twitter page put up this photo of two brand new legends that will be revealed on wednesday the 16th and these guys are both teammates a lot of people are saying it's Manny Ramirez and Nomar Garcia Parra, Jeter, Teixeira, a lot of Yankees players. But I'll tell you who I think it is, and I'm 99% sure. I think it is Joe Maurer and Justin Morneau. If you guys follow MLB The Show on Instagram, they put this on their story today. The picture looks a lot different than the picture that they put on Twitter. If you zoom in closely here, we'll actually zoom in on it a little bit here. Looks like the Twins logo. And if you look at Justin Morneau's batting stance and uh, Joe Maurer's batting stance, it's pretty much spot on. And it's got to be the Twins. Also, you look at the crowd. They've got the red and blue colors. It's very fitting. It's got to be. Another new thing that they have revealed is that MLB The Show 22 will have two new difficulties. Now, I'm not exactly sure what these difficulties are. I don't think they've revealed that yet. But there are going to be two new difficulties. I'm not sure if they're getting rid of dynamic difficulty or not. But I think this is going to help uh, your newer players, the ones that are on Switch, your Xbox players that are getting better. They're progressing, and this difficulty should help them out. Next one is, I'm sure all of you know, this is the Nintendo Switch trailer. MLB The Show 22 will be available for the Switch and this game is obviously cross-platform. You can play against Xbox players and PlayStation players. I don't recommend it, but it is possible. And that's a great step in the right direction for this game. Also, in this trailer, this will be another thing that's on the list. Uh, there was a screenshot taken of the new scoreboard. Obviously, the look of the scoreboard is cool, but there's also a momentum bar in there. If you guys can see that, it is going to be a new setting in this year's game and it's kind of similar to what madden did in their game i don't know if you guys played madden 22 this year but they introduced a momentum meter as well and it completely failed <laughs> nobody liked it and honestly the first i think it was the first month that it came out they actually removed it from the game because it did not work so hopefully mlb the show can uh utilize this tool a little bit better I don't know exactly how it's going to work. They haven't really showed us yet, but I think it's a, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it, actually. It's going to be tough. I'm not really a huge fan of somebody getting any kind of advantage, you know, just for being the home team or, you know, I hope it doesn't work like that because that's how Madden was. If you were the home team, you automatically got an advantage and that's, that's just not fair at all, especially in Diamond Dynasty. Um, I can see this being good for franchise mode, stuff like that, but I don't know. If it's going to be on online, just make it to where it's not unfair. Next is the fact that you can have multiple ball players instead of just one. Uh, don't think that player that you had in MLB The Show 21 is transferable to 22, but in 22, you will be able to have multiple players. I'm not sure exactly how it'll all work, but 
You can have a pitcher, you can have a hitter, however you want to do it. I'm not sure what the limit's going to be, but I know you can have more than one. Now, I do know this. Logos, anything that you have you know, to create your jersey, anything that you download to your vault will be transferable to 22. So, creative players, I don't think you can transfer over to 22, but jerseys, logos, anything you put in the vault can be transferred. Next is the release date. Now, this is for all platforms, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox. The normal game will be available on April 5th. Now, if you pre-order the more expensive versions, the uh, digital deluxe, and I can't remember what the other one's called, but it's right in the middle. Uh, if you order those, you will get four-day early access, and you will be able to play it on April 1st. So, if you guys are Diamond Dynasty players, I recommend spending just a little bit more money to get that head start. Next is the Mini Seasons mode. As you can see here, it says Diamond Dynasty is back and better than ever. Play, collect, and build on your fantasy card collection and bring to life on the diamond. Try the new mini seasons mode where each season brings new challenges as you face off against a new set of competitions. So, interesting. Um, a lot of people think this is similar to the Madden Ultimate Team Seasons Mode. So if you haven't played Madden, basically how that works is you have a, I think it's like a 10 week season or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But how it'll work is if you lose four games in that season, your season resets and you have to start over again. Now, if you get a certain amount of wins, you make it to the playoffs and you get a chance to go to a Super Bowl and win some coins, rewards, all that good stuff. I think it'll be something like that as well. That would be pretty cool. Different option. Another game mode, instead of having to play BR or ranked seasons, you can have something like that. So we'd have three game modes out there that you can play, which would be cool. Next is our new features in Stadium Creator. Now, I'm sure they will have extra options for us, new things that we can put in our stadiums. They have released that we are able to play in our created stadiums at night now that's really good thank god uh hopefully they come out with like a, a dome setting that would be pretty cool but i believe the stadiums that you created in mlb the show 21 are not transferable to 22 so that that kind of answers your question there they're gonna have some new stuff in 22 and lastly they have released that march to october will allow created stadiums custom uniforms all that good stuff and it did specify march to october so i don't think franchise will qualify for this so that is unfortunate if i am wrong about that please let me know but the article that i read said march to october only so yeah guys that's pretty much it those are 10 things that we know about mlb the show 22 they did reveal today on their Twitter that they will be starting a stream on Wednesday the 16th. Obviously, they're going to reveal those two new legends that they showed on their Twitter earlier today. They're also going to be releasing schedules for features that they're going to be going over. So they're going to be letting us know when they go over Franchise, Diamond Dynasty, Road to the Show, all that good stuff. So be sure to tune in to those streams so you can get the latest news on what's going on. Very important to make those streams because they reveal a lot of things, a lot of new legends, and it's just, it's very exciting to watch. So be sure to tune in to those. Also, if you guys enjoyed my video, please be sure to like the video and consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys. We're on a roll. We're, at, we're almost at 225. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support. We're growing this year. MLB The Show 22 coming out soon. Peace out, guys.